Papa Squat, coming at you. Um, another request from DJ Time JD, or I, again, I don't know exactly what your your how you pronounce your name. Um, Grandmaster Melly Mel and the Furious Five, World War Three. So I noticed yesterday in the song he mentioned. Um, nuclear war and then today we have World War three and I think these songs are both from roughly the same year um, for people who didn't live through that time period um, the threat of nuclear war was absolutely something that people were concerned about it wasn't like an all-consuming thing for most people um, but like my mom told me about um, she used to have to do the duck and cover and like get under her desk um, and she even said, because we would laugh at that, and she said, well, we knew it didn't matter. Like, we'd seen what the bomb could do. Um, but, uh, so she had to do that. I never had to do that. Um, and, uh, but there was very much uh, a, a feeling of, hey, you know, things could go south really quickly and we could all die. Uh, so I assume, because I have not listened, World War Three is going to comment on that. Maybe he's talking about something else, but I assume it's it's going to be about sort of the political position uh, or political uh, landscape and what was going on at the time and how people thought and that there was a real fear that, you know, we could all be dead and kill the planet uh, with very little effort. Uh, anyway, let's give this a listen. It's a little long, a little over eight minutes, and I'm talking, so it's going to be even longer. Three, two, one. 1984 World War 3 Interesting intro there Life is a game of business And in the end we strike The new young is all our thought and soul And everybody thinks they're right War is a game of business A game we shouldn't play Yeah, so pretty happy subject matter and exactly what I was uh, talking about in my intro. Um, this is stuff that we all thought about and heard on the news every day. Um, we still hear, obviously, about wars going on and soldiers dying overseas and etc, etc, etc. I liked his line about how war is a business, because uh, it absolutely is. Uh, and I've been listening to some books recently about... Um, history and I listened to one on um, uh, medieval times called A Distant Mirror and <laughs> it's so interesting to hear like okay we're gonna go to war because we want to do this thing we can't get this thing done so we're gonna stay at war for literally a hundred years because it's become so much a part of our our industry our, our uh, w way we w we make money that we can't afford to stop going to war 
So it's just, I mean, it's absolutely crazy. And this was this was in the medieval times. Like this was uh, Dark Ages type stuff, um, 13, 14, 1500s. And um, yeah, it's still pretty much the same. Like we can't stop going to war because that would put too many businesses in trouble. And so I'm not saying that people are kind of ginning up these reasons to go to war, but... <laughs> Like, extremism is a, a pretty handy thing to have uh, to inspire some additional wars and making money. It's sick. Um, yeah, so, interesting so far. So I want to I want to say something about the music here. I find it really interesting because it, it has you know the beat that's going through, but there's um, on my right side uh, there's like a, a guitar going on that I think is really interesting, and then there's some other sounds and, and instruments that are in here that actually make it a pretty complex. Um, bunch of music. Uh, just, just give it a listen. Okay, so I hadn't expected him to go down the uh, Christian uh, mark of the beast, devil, uh, magical thinking direction, but what the heck, it's fun. Life is a game of business, and in the end we fight. The new young is a little of bought and sold, and everybody thinks they're right. War is a game of business, a game we shouldn't play. Because men and guns killed all our sons and blew us all away. Also, did not expect to have aliens show up. <laughs> I think Melly Mel would be uh, an interesting person to talk to at this time in his life. Moving and steering them, making 
God's might. The only thought that men had in mind was to conquer the world and the rest of mankind. And with the thought that they were right, they gave you permission to take a man's life. The ones you killed fought just as hard. Then you even had the nerve to pray to God. But God don't want to hear all your mess when you ain't the one that he laid to rest. The devil's children with no disgrace crushed and killed the human race. And while they got rich off the days of war, what in the hell were you fighting for? A silly ass medal, a stupid parade for all those innocent people you slave. And after that, you couldn't even get a job for fighting that war made you a slob. Sergeant and a major, a corporal lieutenant, titles and positions were all invented. You and me and all this mess are just a bunch of little pieces in the game of chess. It's all the same. The Third World War, a bloodthirsty massacre just like before. It's genocide. Three billion tears feeding on the war every 20 years. Then one day, we heard the sound of the whole damn world tumbling down. Just one big boom. And what do you know? The world is a ghetto. High and low. Crumbling buildings all around. Man's creation burned to the ground. Chaos, panic. Pain. Days of radioactive rain, grotesque figures burned alive, miraculously seem to survive. Everything of reality is a science fiction on TV. Mutant dogs and saber tooth rats eat men with guns and baseball bats. The dead won't die, the booty won't cry, and everybody's asking the question why. Until scores of millions walk from the city, and thousands more went underground below with their heads held down in the road. Wondering where they do not know Cause in this game, we had a chance But we blew it for cheap fields and romance Maybe one day we'll get another play But until then, remember what I say Because life is a game of business And in the end, we fight The new young is old, a boy and soul And everybody thinks they're right, right? War is a game of business A game we shouldn't play Because men with guns killed all our sons And we want All right. Um, so I, I do like this song. I find it kind of weird that he went in the direction that he did. Um, I think he could have stuck to reality. Uh, without going off into the mystical and alien world or aliens coming to visit and watching us destroy ourselves and it probably would have been a shorter and better song you want to go up Kitty? but he didn't do that and instead he kind of I don't know who this song is for like is this just sort of him expressing his concerns about um where we were at in the world at the time and the fact that he's obviously got some strong feelings about uh, war and the um, military industrial complex and and, uh, and he's not wrong um, but or, or was this supposed to be for his listeners to be like yeah I, I got it that's what I think too or was I mean I, I don't think there's a lot of world leaders at in 1984 who were listening to Melly Mel and the Furious Five. So it's kind of a weird song and it it kind of, like I said, the, the religious stuff and the alien stuff just kind of turned me off. Like, it was like, oh, okay, this is really interesting. He's got some good points. He's He obviously has looked into this and knows like how all this stuff fits together. But um, yeah, I don't know about that second part. Um, but it was a good song. I liked it. Uh, I would have liked it shorter, um, which is what I always say. And hey, Papa Scott, checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. 
and it I did not expect to be talking about um, the Middle Ages while listening to a Grandmaster Melly Mel song from 1984. Thanks again. I will talk to you soon. Have a good day. <laughs>